Hi, my name is Susan Gerbic. Thank you for talking to me, to letting me talk to you today. Hello, everybody in Hong Kong. It's really, really early in the morning over here if I was to actually be speaking to you live, which I am not. But thank you for giving me the opportunity to be able to speak to you today. Michael's going to be talking to you a lot about um, the Gorilla Skepticism on Wikipedia project and how important it is to improve the pages of our skeptical spokespeople as well as to really bring knowledge to the world and all languages. So um, I'm hoping he's going to influence you to want to join our Wikipedia project. We do train, we mentor. Um, if you're an experienced editor, that, that's great. I'll teach you how to edit the Gorilla Skeptic way, and um, which is more where we bond with each other. We communicate, we talk about what we're going to do before we do it. and. Um, I don't expect anybody to have to come to the group with any great knowledge of how to edit or how to um, speak languages other than English. Um, I'll, take, I'll take anybody. Everybody is very valuable um, and um, we'll find a, a purpose for you. This project is so much more important than starting a blog or a podcast because as you well know, blogs and podcasts don't get a lot of views and you're only speaking to the choir. When you're editing for Wikipedia, you're reaching an audience of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people. For one example, um, you're probably aware of the Ken Ham and the Bill Nye debate that just happened a few weeks ago. And um, Bill Nye's Wikipedia page normally receives about 2,000 views a day. During the, the uh, debate, the day before, Bill Nye's Wikipedia page received over 60,000 views. And the day of the debate, he received over 100,000 views. So this is the power of the internet. It's the power of Wikipedia. There's no single project out there that will be more effective in educating people and um, getting the, uh, what we need to say, good scientific skepticism, out into a place where people will read it who are maybe on the fence, maybe who are um, trying to learn about a subject, um, and that kind of thing. So we really, really want to get the pages up to the great quality they need to be. We also feel that we need to respect our skeptical spokespeople because if we don't have their backs, nobody's going to do it. This is something that's very important to us that we support our people who are out there representing us. That's basically how that goes. We don't, when you're training, we don't actually have you going into some of the more experienced, difficult pages like homeopathy, Scientology, astrology, we, we start off with more, less traveled pages, um, people whose pages have probably been mostly forgotten. Um, we need to write pages that have, that need to be written and improve pages that are there, that are stubs and so on. We badly need editors in any of the um, languages that are obviously probably there in Hong Kong, Chinese, Mandarin Chinese, Korean, Japanese, um, any of the Asian languages, heck, I mean, we have no one really right now, and it would be wonderful to see some, some, uh, a team coming from your area and maybe from your skeptics group. This is definitely how you can outreach and, and uh, make an impact. If you don't speak Mandarin, Chinese, or Korean, or Japanese, that's fine. You know, come on, bring it on. Just write to us at GSOW team and I'll be happy to get started with your training. Um, ask Michael all the questions you want. He's done a great job. He's almost finished with his training, and uh, I'm very proud to, that he's allowed me to have a few minutes to talk to you. So, bye. Please write to me.